Hi there. We're going to be talking about the movie Max. It's hard to not see the M because I um, bought it on uh, Amazon, and the M is covered. And this is a film that's got John Cusack in it, and it says one of the best films of the year, and that's from the New York Times, Art plus Politics equals powers. Power. I'm going to read the back here. Mesmerizing. Absolutely fascinating. Yeah, I thought it was too. I thought it was a good film that kind of dragged on, but I thought it was good. And what it says here is a promising young artist, Max Rothman, lost his arm in the Great War and with it his ability to paint. Upon his return from war, he opens up what quickly becomes an acclaimed art gallery catering to modernism. Okay. There he runs into another war veteran and struggling artist named Aldolf Hitler. And Max encourages Aldolf to develop his talent and channel his raw beliefs into his art. Penniless and without family or friend, the lure politics, the lure politics soon wins Aldolf's interest over art, setting into motion the most catastrophic catastrophic, I can't say the word, I'm sorry, period in the 20th century. I give this film an absolutely fantastic film. And what I liked about this film is it shows a struggling Adolf Hitler, it shows his art, it shows him trying to be accepted into different art schools, and uh, him being declined, and his work not being appreciated. And then this gallery owner befriends this very angry young man and tries to work with him, pushing him to continue his art and pursue his art with this entire relationship. Then um, it, it's kind of torn because at the same time, Hitler starts taking more military classes, getting more involved as a public speaker, and the uh, German military sees that he really has some potential as a leader, and he's very um, charismatic in that people are intrigued by what he's saying and want to follow him, and Hitler gets torn between pursuing the art career or pursuing um, becoming a horrific, horrific person in history. What I do find really interesting is on a greater level, how often do people say that art is really not important? And they cut art out of all our budgets. You know, having been at the Columbine Public Library myself, next to the Columbine High School on that fateful day, and having to help the police in lockdown all day, um, you know, if those Columbine boys, if somebody had invested in them, and those two bad, <laughs> bad is a lightweight word, those two horrific boys that killed all those people that day and injured so many other people. You know, what if there had been art for those people? What would have been different? Um, you know, this is a movie, and we did. I did talk about the other two Hitler documentaries that ended up shaping how Hitler felt about modernism and who got labeled as degenerative art. And I ha also had talked about Ernest... Ludwig Kirchner, who ended up committing suicide because his art got named as degenerative, and all of a sudden, this entire empire of how World War II and the Nazis and degenerative art and modernism all came into play, and it's very, very interesting. So I give this movie um, full thumbs up, uh, but again, my perspective on what I like in life is not always a sense of seeing things in the reality that other people see it in. I, I feel as though I've lived multiple lifetimes in one lifetime. And with that, I have the, the vision to see way beyond what is just here and seems so obvious as a good film. For me, I need things that have a more profound uh, depth to them, a profound value in them. So, anyway, I give you, I say yes to this movie and uh, strongly recommend it. Your art escort checking out. Bye.